Hi folks, so in this quick tutorial we're going to take a look at how we can get rid of some of the extra white space that we sometimes find within the, um, the Mail Styler um, platform. So I've got a, a Mail Styler piece here that I'm just going to unzip to here. It should pop out Mail Styler, there we go, so let me pop that in the bin. Uh, and if I was to double click this, it's going to open it up in Mail Styler, so just bear with me just for a second. Okay, now we can see that there's a fair amount of white space, especially in areas oh, areas such as these bits down the bottom here and some other bits. Now normally what we'd say, suggest is that we click it and we find the box and we click the block there and we come up to this little kind of edit block piece. And what we're looking for is this, the inner margins. We don't want it to push out at all. So I'm going to click cancel. There's nothing there, zero, 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 zero. But within a block, there can be multiple cells. So if whilst I've got this block selected, if I actually come down here, I can then select the cell. Now, this is actually a single cell in a single block. But if you bear with me, it makes sense. If I select that, you'll see it'll give me the inside of that particular block and another little paintbrush. And if I select that, you'll see we've now got some completely different values here. So this is where I might say, well, actually, if it's 15 in the edges, I might want 15 at the top and bottom as well. And if I click OK, you can see now, if I go back to block, I can actually drag that right up. And if I was to do that again, cell, edit, and then maybe say, well, actually, I just want five. You can see I've checked that now, so that's going to be five, 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 five. What's going to happen? It's going to push the text out further to the left as well. So that's probably not ideal. So let me uncheck that box, take five at the top and the bottom, put that back to 15 at the side so we can have everything laid out nice and in the middle. Click OK and again, come back to block and then I can pull it up even further. But if I was to do that to all of these different blocks, you'll find that I'll be able to, uh, to get rid of a lot of that white space. So let's take another one here just for argument's sake. I'm going to click this one. I'm going to click cell. I'm going to click this. And I'm going to say that that should actually be five by five. Click OK, push it everything to the top. And then if I come back to block, I can then grab that and push it right up to the top. So you can see I'm giving myself a five pixel border at the top, a 15 down the edge, so it sits a little bit nicer, and a five across the bottom as well. So that's going to make sure that I'm not taking out any of that white space that we've got. And that's a quick trip, a quick tip rather, on Mail Styler.